This is uh, a 1997 Camry. Uh, we took the wheel off, got it jacked up. So the back brakes uh, are in trouble. We need to replace the, the pads. So what we're gonna do is there's one bolt over here in the back that we're just gonna take off. This is a 12 mil millimeter. So it looks like we can just lift this out of the way. Here's one pad, and you can see it has absolutely nothing left on it, and it's starting to scrape the edges over here. There's the second pad. It has the same problem, but it's not quite as bad. So it looks like it's totally wore out. Here's the basic engine right over here. Off to the side is the uh, master cylinder. And here is the reservoir. So there's some room in here. So I'm just going to put this cap on lightly because what I'm going to do is squeeze that cylinder and more fluid is going to come back up through here. So let's go squeeze that cylinder. Okay, so you can see right here, we're going to squeeze this back because our pads fit right in here. So we, once we push this all the way back, the fluid in here is going to go back up into the reservoir. So I am going to get my pair of pliers and squeeze that right now. Okay, so I'm gently squeezing it. As you can see, it's going in. Nice and slow. You don't have to rush. There, I'll squeeze it till it's flush. So now, when I bring this down, it'll clear the pads. So now let's go look at the pads first. If you look at the brake pads, here's the one we're going to put on. This is the one we took off. And you'll see that there is nothing here. It is totally wore out. In fact, you can see right here where it actually rubbed on the metal bracket. And that is what touched the rotor and that was making it squeal. But fortunately, it didn't do it enough. So we don't have any damage here at all. So we're going to leave, use the same rotors. This first pad right here just slips right in position. Nothing to it. Okay, the second one comes around from the other side. And will fit right here. But what I want to do first is I want to put a little tiny bit of grease on here. And this is where the piston will be touching So when we put this one in, it just slips in. Just like that. So now, we tied off the top here, just to keep it out of the way. And now we'll just gently pull this all the way down get it to fit here just give it a little push and there it comes push it right back in place take the bolt don't touch it with the ratchet this is a 12 so to tighten it we go clockwise So, when we look at it, here's we're tightening the bolt, the two pads, 
on either side we just lifted this out of the way to make it real easy okay so now let's go look at the master cylinder at the reservoir and see how much fluid actually came up in there so you can see here it just came up just a little tiny bit not enough to worry about so I'm just gonna put the cap back on there and now let's go do the other side Okay, I was under the impression that this car had drum brakes on, but it actually has disc brakes. And you can see here, it's not wore out at all, but the pads are wore because the other side was wore out. So just looking at this, how simple this thing is, I mean, I thought the front ones were easy. One bolt right here. So we're going to take that off. Okay, so what we're going to do is start taking these off. This is a uh, number 12. Just jerk. It'll just come right loose. One bolt. And just lifts right up. Okay, see it doesn't stay up here because the brake hose here is holding it down. So I'm just going to cheat. I just got to tie a piece of string on here. Put it around the coil spring. And so I lift it out of the way so I can work on it with no trouble at all. So, here is the piston. So what we'll do well, before we even get to the piston, let's just take the brakes off. So here are the, the pads. Look how simple this is. Whoa, now you know why this is squealing. There is nothing there. Maybe you've got a fingernail left. Let's see, how, see, and this side just pulls right off, just like that. And this is no better. I mean, this is getting the maximum light to your, out of your brakes. But anyway, so what we're going to do is put new ones in. Okay, so the front side is not scored, and you can feel that the back side is not scored. So this is, uh, I don't know, a couple thousand miles away from destroying the rotors. But anyway, what we're going to put on here is look at the difference. Look how much material is we're putting on versus what we're taking off. So we're putting on quite a bit here. All right, so now uh, we know we're gonna, we're gonna put the brakes in, but we need to push the piston back because it needs more space here. So, nice and carefully and nice and slow. the hell cup go by. All right, so we squeezed it all the way in and you'll see it's nice and flush. That way when we bring it down, it'll go right into place. Now the next thing we want to do is put the back brake on, but what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of grease, not much, just a little bit, just where the piston will ride on the brakes itself or on the pads itself. Okay, so once again, this is a nice, simple installation. It's gonna ride this way, so it just slips in. The other side is just as easy. Make sure it's the curvature. It's gonna go into that bracket, into that bracket. slides right in. Look at that. How easy that is. Now, what we're going to do is just lower the caliper. And the 
reason I had to have this because the hose is here and it's sort of spring loading it for me to keep it down but okay so here we come all the way down push this guy out of the way just like that push him in and that's all there is to it okay so we'll tighten it tighten it goes clockwise and that's it okay so let's just do a Greek cap all we have to have to do with these back brakes is take this one bolt off flip this up put take out the two pads squeeze the, uh, the cylinder back in put the two pads on put this back this is even easier than the front Now we want to go back here and we want to look once more at the master cylinder. And you'll see the fluid hardly ever even came up. So it's up on a high level. So we're in good shape. So we can close this off. And it looks like we're, we're done. That's it. Put the tire back on. And that's doing the brakes. Okay, so now remember the last thing. You can even see this is when you tighten the wheels make sure you go in a star pattern that way it seats the wheel evenly and I, I really like doing it by myself putting the wheels on tightening it up because if you get it done in the shop they use a air gun and they just zip them right on and then if you ever have to take them off on the road it gets really tough. But anyway, that is it.